Yeah, Nigel McGill here. I want to tell you quickly about microphone placement. It's a very important thing if you're out there gigging as a saxophone player or something you're looking to do, looking to go out gigging as a sax player, is to have a bit of a, uh, a think about the way you place your microphone because it makes a massive difference to the sort of sound that you make. A couple of different options. Um, most people use a microphone on a stand. And, uh, and if you're going to go for a microphone on a stand, there's, there's tons of different microphones you can look at. But uh, a couple of standard options. I often use an FM, SM58 by Shaw. Uh, a lot of people use an SM57, which is another great microphone. Uh, there's loads of different ones to use. <clears throat> but as a starting point, a Shaw 57 or a 58 is a good option. If you're going to place one on a stand, um, I think it's always best to use a boom stand so that you can get the microphone away from the upright part of the stand a little bit more. But more importantly is thinking about the distance of the microphone from your saxophone. Now, there's always a tendency from people to get right up onto the microphone like this. The, the danger with that is it's going to give you a very unbalanced sound. Your low notes are going to be super loud, your high notes are not going to be so much, and it's, it's going to sound a bit weird to be fair. So really, you want to be at least that sort of distance, which is about, I don't know, 10 inches or maybe about 20 centimeters away from your microphone. Um, different microphones have got a different sensitivity, uh, so you, you'll, you'll notice with some microphones, the further you go away, it'll get dramatically quieter. Uh, you'll need to experiment with your own microphone, but the point is don't get too close to the microphone. Another option though, if you're not using a, a microphone on the stand, and this is what I use all the time, is a clip-on microphone. Mine is a wireless system. This one is made by AMT. Um, I'll do a proper review on these at some point actually, because this is an absolutely awesome microphone. With this one, dead easy because uh, you clip it on your bell. It suits me because when I'm performing, I move, I move around quite a lot. So it gives me complete freedom. I just clip it on my bell, uh, turn it on, and then somewhere else on stage, I've got my receiver, which is plugged into the mixer. So I don't need the stand at all. And I can just play around and I can set this to the height that I want it across above my bell. And then my sound is always constant and it sounds fantastic. Um, obviously, as long as I play well, but the, the microphone sounds fantastic. So that's a wireless system, and there's a bunch of different wireless systems on the market as well, ranging in prices and ranging in sounds. The other third option is to have something that looks like this, but isn't wireless and just has a lead that goes uh, out to your PA system that way. So you've got the flexibility of not having a stand um, and the, the consistency of the sound because you're always the same distance from your microphone, but you're wired into your, into your uh, PA system. So three options to consider there. The lowest uh, or the most affordable version is definitely to go and grab yourself a microphone like this and a stand and a lead and you're away. Hope that helps. Don't forget to check out the other lessons at Sax School. There's a ton of great information in there and I'll see you next time.